Hudson, this was a very a very fun fight, and you said this was a lot closer than a lot of people anticipated. Now, I didn't anticipate this not being close, that, not by any stretch of the imagination. Serkinov was the bigger man. He is no, more well-known as being the grappler than Wellington Terman is because Terman has a propensity to want to use his hands. But what surprised me the most is that Misha Serkinov, such a well-rounded grappler, did one of the more rookie grappling mistakes that you can make, and that is hanging out in somebody's guard, a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt guard, and putting your hands out over kind of towards the... If you're not controlling their arms, your hand should be on the hips or, you know, tucked into the chest. He went for a punch, had his hand out, got caught in the armbar immediately, and you could tell with the muscle mass on Misha Serkinov, he clearly has... Uh, not a lot of flexibility, right? Because as soon as that armbar went, he tapped immediately. So I was like, oh, we didn't even give it a shot right here. Trust me, man. You, there's no reason to take unnecessary damage on an armbar. Trust me, I do it all the time. Um, you know what I mean? Where I'm just like, fuck, I shouldn't have done that. But I let my arm bend too long for no reason. This was a very impressive win by Wellington Terman. However, I think it does go to show that this is this success that he is having, it is hard fought. Every single time he gets a win, it's 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 or every time he fights, it's just hard. Like he, there's no easy fights for the man. What do you make of this matchup? What do you make of the win by Wellington Terman? Second round armbar. Man, very impressive win. I thought he was losing the fight, man. I was yeah. I, I there was a moment in there where I was cursing myself. I was like, you should have went with what you were thinking. Like you should have went with that gut decision, bro. Never doubt it. And then out of nowhere, Terman gets that beautiful armbar. Something must have popped for Serkinov, because you're right. Homeboy is so jacked. He has to not be that flexible. And he was even shaking his arm out a little bit at the end. Like I'm sure something something felt weird in there. But I think you said it best in the slack, Derek. Jiu-jitsu for the win. Mm-hmm. Made one Serkinov made one rookie mistake. Next thing you know, your arm's getting bent how it's not supposed to, and you got to tap. Very impressive win for uh, Terman, but a hard-fought victory, man. You can't have too many of those to have a long, you know, fight life because those just start kind of pile up a little bit heavier and heavier, man. Although it does teach. Uh, teach Terman a lot you know about everything about his fight style gives him a little bit more kind of grasp on the situation excuse me but um rough win rough win man eating eating a lot of those shots and taking the fight because he even on the ground he was still getting getting smashed on from above oh yeah so but gritty win man that's how you got to get it done I mean Terman got outstruck 50 to 24 in favor of total strikes um so it goes to show it's just like he, he got the one, but it, he got the win, but it was like a last ditch effort. It was the Hail Mary approach that ended up working out for him. Serkinov was clearly the bigger man in there. That's just the thing, man. I do have newfound uh, confidence in Serkinov that he can be a real player at 185, though, because it seems like the cardio was holding up. His power was holding up. His strength was holding up. He just got caught, and it happens to the best of us, man. For Wellington Terman, I want to take a little bit of a deeper dive, man, because when we're looking at his last five, he's 3-2, and two, right? Went over Marcus Perez, went over Sam Alvey, which was very close. He got a bunch of points taken away, still got the dub, and now went over Misha Serkinov. But when he has lost, he's lost in devastating fashion where he's getting knocked out, like like bad, right? But if you're looking at the grand scheme of things, um, before those, uh, before the last five, you have a loss against Carl Roberson. That was a split decision. Then you got a bunch of wind that he rattled off outside of the UFC. In terms of the future of Wellington Terman, because it's only going to get tougher and tougher from here. This is another issue of that. Can he sustain this? Can he continue to keep getting the dubs on the chalkboard? Or is it going to you know, be like, hey, man, you can't can't hit that much you can't put yourself in these compromising spots so much because when he had the backpack on Serkinov when he had his back and he was working for that choke it was all good until it wasn't and then it was like I looked at it like both of these dudes used a bunch of gas who has more left in the tank come round two because Wellington Terman looked tired and I think Serkinov had more in the tank but Terman got the job done so can he have this prolonged success or do you think that this is just a uh, a lucky win no, nah, this isn't just a lucky win, man. I think he can have prolonged success. He just needs to learn a little bit more in those hands, man, a little bit more in that defense because he was getting picked apart and, and Serkinov looked big, man. I thought I for, for in my mind for some reason, whenever I pictured Wellington Tournament before, I pictured him looking like a, uh, a Cuban Missile Crisis, you know, like uh, what, what's homeboy's name? Julian Marquez. Julian Marquez. I thought, he, I thought Tournament was thick. I thought he was big as fuck. And then I saw him post up against Serkinov. I was like, oh, I guess I was thinking mm-hmm. wrong. <laughs> he looked a little skinnier than I remember. Uh, and Serkinov was doing well. Yeah. But I do think Thurman can have some some success here in the future. He just needs, you know, like I said, man, what is he, 25? What did I say before? Dude, he's this like 24, still young. yeah. 24. Yeah. 
yeah, still young, still has a lot of time to go, can learn a lot and have a longer success rate or longer lifestyle, excuse me. Um, he just needs to, you know, get get back in there. Yeah, and he's over there training under uh, uh, Glover Teixeira, the champion right now, man. So I think that's definitely helping him out. But it's just too close to call, man. Big win by Wellington Terman. We both called it. We both said he has all the tools. We just need the mental focus. And I still don't think it was there. I still think we need to lock in just a little bit more. But I'm rooting for you, man. I'm rooting for both of these guys. I didn't really want to see either guy lose, but this was a big win by Wellington Terman.